Hey guys, it's Jason 28W. Uh, uh, hang on, let me shut the heater off. Alright, there we go. Shut the heater off so it's not so noisy. Alright, well, this is uh, starter update 3 or whatever, part 3. Um, I got the new starter. Uh, went down, picked it up. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's not bad for 64 bucks. I was kind of hoping that this starter wasn't going to have shims. But, uh, unfortunately, it does. Um, this one here, this was the one that was in the car. And, um... This is the one that it came with. It's really thin, so I gotta find out which one that I'm gonna need to use. I don't know yet, but um, grab my flashlight here. There it is. Oh, I gotta turn close up on. Napa Power remanufactured. So. He didn't want the, or, well, he didn't want to have to pay for a really, really nice one. So, we just got it remanufactured, you know, it's good enough. But, um, yeah, contacts are all nice and shiny and all that. And it's all nice and pretty and beautiful. And, uh, the teeth on this one are in excellent condition you know they better be it's brand new but there's not a speck of dust on it dirt nothing so but the dilemma that I ran into hang on damn fire safe cigarettes the dilemma that I ran into is that I know it's really dark but um the flywheel's got those flat spots, so, um, I don't know if I should put, um, I don't know if I should use the, the, uh, regular shim that, that was in there, or if I should use the thinner one. If I use, I'm probably going to use the thinner one because what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to get the starter closer to the teeth. So maybe it'll start easier. But then again, you you have to make sure that the gear mesh is correct. Otherwise, you know, you'll be mashing the gears. You know, it's just like an RC car or, you know, on an RC car, you, you shove the, you can uh, shove a piece of paper in there you know to check your gear mesh and then if the if the gears grab the piece of paper and you see um if you see good uh, teeth marks in the piece of paper then you know you have your gear mesh right well unfortunately with a vehicle you know you really can't do that so you're supposed to use a uh which I'm gonna call a wire gauge to determine if uh, the gear mesh is right or not. But see it. I'll grab the piece of paper here. It says in here for the gear mesh. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not. But it shows the gear mesh right there. And it's supposed to be, um, where the hell did it say now? It's not supposed to be more than point, point, uh, two six zero to zero point six zero. So, I don't know if I'm going to have to go get a wire gauge, or if I can just eyeball it. I don't know. The only way that I'm going to know... The only way that I'm going to know is that is if I get under there and I try. But then it's also seen that there's supposed to be a little pin 
that you can push to get the the Bendix to release so you can check the gear mesh well it's showing me the hole is let's see right there where that arrow is but I look on here and there is no hole so I'm kind of stuck there on that one. Um, let me turn close up off here. So I'm not exactly sure what to do there, but um, I said that I'd make another video, let you guys know when I got the new starter. Well, there it is, brand new for 6411. Not too bad. Uh, Two-year warranty, you know, so not bad. Um, what I'll do is I'll make another video once I get her all together and everything, and uh, we'll do and then we'll, we'll do a cold start. And then I also got I don't know if I showed this or not, but I got all those wires nice and tied away, and they all look pretty and everything good connections there because it says in there too that what can cause what can cause the starter to um, turn over slowly is bad connections well that definitely isn't going to be an issue now that's for sure but uh, I suppose I'm going to try to keep my videos I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to make such long videos because I posted four new videos and uh, they took for ever to upload now that I have a better camera and then you know the megapixel and everything's better it uses more space my videos are in between 100 and 150 megabytes each you know so then that takes quite a while quite a while to, to upload so I'm trying to keep my videos as small as I can just until I can figure out the camera more maybe there's a different setting that I can do so you know it's not so they're not so big but uh anyways i'll keep you guys up to date all right peace